By the way, my name is Jamie J. Rivas. So my topic is taste on correlations. From the word taste correlation, ito ay taste sa dalawa o more variable. Sa pamagitan ng pag-solve, kung meron bang ugnayan ng dalawang variable o relationship. So sa halimbawa, sinabi na gumamit tayo ng correlation coefficient o gamitin ito para i-calculate para malaman natin ang, rel- ang relationship ng heights of father and son. So bago yan, alamin muna natin si correlation coefficient. So si correlation coefficient, meron iba't ibang katangian. Maybe maging negative 1 or positive 1 or zero correlation. So first, perfect positive correlation siya ay if ang dalawang variable ay same na kumilos ng same direction. Like si x and y ay tumaas and si y din ay tumaas. Halimbawa, kapag nag-study ka, mas malaki ang score na makukuha mo. Kung matagal sa trabaho, mas malaki ang sweldo. So, zero correlation. So, ito ay walang relationship ang dalawang variable. Magkikita natin sa ibaba ang larawan na ito ay gumalaw na walang direction. Halimbawa, is ang mga crime, maybe wala siyang relationship o zero correlation siya. So, dito naman tayo sa perfect negative correlation. So, perfect negative correlation kapag ang isang variable ay tumaas at ang isang variable naman ay bumaba. Halimbawa, kapag mas, ra- kapag mas marami kang party na pinupuntahan, mas mababa siguro yung grades mo. So, so correlation coefficient formula. So, ito nga pala ang correlation coefficient formula. So, R is R ay ito ay ang correlation coefficient formula kung meron bang kung meron bang relationship ang dalawang variables or ugnayan. So hindi ko na po babasahin ang formula, direct na lang po tayo sa variables sa dalawang variables x and y. So si x ay nilagay ko dito yung mga numbers at si y ay nilagay ko dito po yung mga numbers. And then so since x y so 5 times 8 is equals to 40. 6 times 8 equals to 48. So 8 times 12 equals 96. So so dito naman is x squared. So since x squared multiply by itself. So si x. So 5 times 5 equals 25. And 6 times 6 equals 36. And 8 times 8 equals 64. And 5 times 5 equals 25. So so dito naman is is y squared. So since y squared is multiplied by itself. So 8 times 8 equals 64. 8 times 8 equals 64. And then continue. And then summation. So summation. Lahat ng mga numbers na to ay i-plus mo. So 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 5 equals 30. 8 plus 8 plus 12 equals 48. 40 plus 48 plus 96 plus 66 equals 295. And then, same na din dito. Plus mo lang to. And then, mag-focus tayo sa formula. So, dito, ilagay po natin yung R, correlation coefficient. So, so how many examples of variables? So, how many samples of variables? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so the numbers is 5. So, 295 is xy xy is 295 so ilagay mo lang 295 dito and then so and the cx so cx plus x is 30 so ilagay mo lang dito 30 so pila naman si y si y so si y is equals 48 so ilagay mo dito 48 and then dito naman samples of numbers is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then dito naman sa x squared, mag focus tayo sa formula, x squared so si x squared is 186 ilagay mo dito sa 186 and then minus and then dito naman tayo sa x so dito naman tayo sa x so how much x magpilas x 30, so ilagay mo dito sa 30 and then copy the 2, ilagay mo dito yung 2 and then multiply and then square root <coughs> and then numbers samples of numbers hindi ba sabi ko ganina 5 so 5 
and then summation and then y squared so y squared so 474 so ilagay dito so 474 and then minus and then and then si y pila si y is 48 ilagay mo dito yung 48 squared so dito naman tayo sa relationship so so 5 times 295 is equals to 104 seven five and then ilagay mo dito yung minus copy the minus and then 30 times 438 equals to 1440 and then square root of <coughs> and then dito naman 5 times 186 is equals to 930 and then since since to and dito multiply mo ito by itself 30 times 30 equals 900 and then times and then square root of and then <coughs> so 5 times 474 equals to 23c bin 0 and then copy the minus and then so since to dito sabi ko ganina multiply by itself so 48 times 48 equals to 2304 so 14 cb5 minus 1440 is equals to 35 and then 430 minus 90 equals 30 and then 23 cb0 minus 2304 is equals to 66 and then copy the 35 and then 30 times 66 is equals to 1980 so square root of 1 1980 is oh, 44.497 and then copy the 35 so equals so 35 divide divide 44.497 so this is the answer 0 0.786 7 oh, 5 6 so since since 5 so malaki siya hindi siya 4 so round off natin ito ay magiging 7 ito ay magiging 7 and 6 so the answer so the final answer is 0.787 and that's all thank you